Hello fellow collectors, I hope you are doing wonderfully well. Today I have an unboxing for you of this absolutely gorgeous one click box set of Dune Part 2 from Mantelab, probably the best premium steelbook makers in the game at the moment. I absolutely love the artwork that they've used on the one click box here, simply stunning stuff with the striking orange against the black and grey, it's a great contrast. Just to say as well that near the end I also do a short comparison and side by side with Mantelab's release of the first film too, if you're interested. Well, I hope the unboxing is useful and I'll pop in and out with some commentary as we go. So you can see there is some slight embossing and gloss on the characters here on the front, and there is some slight holofoil on Florence Pugh slash Princess Arulan's headdress which I thought was a really nice touch. Sadly, no inner artwork on the one-click box here. A bit of a shame, I think, as it seems like wasted space that they could have done something with. But, as usual, it has a nice magnetic seal. So, firstly into the two editions that are still sealed. Here we have the lovely looking full slip, which I think I actually might open as well. Of course the inner contents of Mantelab editions are all identical, but still this full slip just looks too stunning to keep sealed for long. You can see the characters are nicely embossed both on the front and also on the back. Then we have Lenticular Full Slip B which I originally thought was the nicest looking, but in hand is actually not my favourite. In similar fashion to the one-click box, they use a great colour contrast here, and I do really like the back artwork with the villains, so to speak. Not that there really are any proper good guys in this cautionary sci-fi tale. And then finally onto the one that I've opened, which is the lovely Lenticular Full Slip A. I didn't really care for this one as much when I just saw the picture on screen, but actually in person I think it looks fantastic. The Lenticular is great and has some depth, and I love the image on the back as well, with Paul holding up the Chris knife to the sun. And then onto the steelbook inside, and in usual Mantelab fashion, I think it looks amazing, and it is extremely glossy, with the title being debossed in a similar style to their edition of the first film. You'll notice here as well that they've highlighted the eyes on the Fremen, which I think is such a wonderful little touch and really catches the eye, pun very much intended. Onto the art cards then, which are also very nice and glossy, but I actually made a mistake while showing these, as a couple of them were a little stuck together. But in a second or two I'll do a group shot of them, as well as another wonderful little touch from Mantelab, which is that altogether, the pictures on the back of the cards make up a pretty cool little puzzle.
just a booklet with pictures in here, which is the standard for Mantalab, no text at all in these. And lastly then, onto a side-by-side -side comparison here with my lenticular edition of the first film, along with part two as well. Unfortunately, I didn't get the one-click for the first film as I just wasn't as big a fan of the artwork, so I'll just do the lenticulars here side-by-side -side, and also the steelbooks in a second as well. <laughs> 